In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to write an equation for an isotope produced by bombardment. Now, Before we begin, remember that an isotope is an atom of the same element with a different number of neutrons. So it has the same number of protons. Keep that in mind. And question one reads, write the balanced nuclear equation for the bombardment of nickel-58 by a proton, represented by this symbol, which produces a radioactive isotope and an alpha particle. So let's write down nickel and its atomic mass is 58. Nickel is the 28th element on the periodic table and it's being bombarded by a proton. So we can write down H11 plus. Now with nuclear equations you want the atomic mass and the number of protons to be equal. We are told that an alpha particle is emitted and alpha particles as discussed in one of our previous videos is shown as helium. Helium has an atomic mass of four and two protons. So what we have to do is find the symbol or the atom that gets produced and we can subtract, let's count one plus 28, that's 29. And taking two away from 29, that's 27. Similarly, if we add one plus 58, that's 59. Four take away 59 is 55. The 27th element on the periodic table is cobalt and its symbol is CO. So the isotope that's produced is this one right here. Let's quickly move on to question two. The first radioactive isotope was produced in 1934 by the bombardment of aluminum 27 by an alpha particle to produce a radioactive isotope in one neutron. Write the balanced nuclear equation for this bombardment. So let's begin by writing out aluminum 27 and aluminum happens to be the 13th element on the periodic table and it's being bombarded with an alpha particle so we'll write down helium 4, 2 and as mentioned a neutron is released after these two particles interact. A neutron is represented as N1 and it has zero protons obviously. So let's do the math here. 4 plus 27 is 31. 31 minus 1 is 30. And similarly, 2 plus 13 is 15. We have to find out what the 15th element on the periodic table is, and it happens to be phosphorus. So we'll write down P. This represents the balanced nuclear equation for this bombardment, and that is how to write an equation for an isotope produced by bombardment.